Hi guys, it's Marky. How's it going? I picked up a bunch of Hot Wheels at Target. These are Hot Wheels Premium car culture sets, and they are the American Scene uh, series. This one is pretty nice. It's a Corvette in black. We're going to take a look at all these cars now. You know, the, the C8R, and it also comes in this red, white, and blue. So the black one is like a chase car. This one is the uh, red, white, and blue version, which is more the more common version. Uh, there's a Tesla Roadster in the series, and there's this beautiful Chevelle in orange, really awesome looking. And we have a Bronco part of the series as well. And we have this 2020 Dodge, Dodge uh, Charger Hellcat. And let's start with this one. Let me show you the card real quick. It's got some beautiful graphics on it. Hot Wheels Premium, Car Culture. They all have the American scene uh, little shield on there. Really cool. And you can see the whole set on the back of the card here. And it doesn't show the black one. So it looks like the black one is the chase car in this series. Probably like something equal to the treasure hunt uh, series that they have. So let's see. We got to get this guy out of here and take a close look at him. The color looks really nice. Okay, so it's a beautiful green color. Really bright green, kind of like that neon green. We have a nice uh, nice grill showing through there. Now these are supposed to be all metal cars with a uh, metal base. And you can see the base is metal um, down here. It's kind of like a flat color. 2020 Dodge Charger Hellcat. And it is copyrighted 2020 as well. Mattel, made in Thailand, P45 stamped down there. There's some details here, a little few details here and there. And they have the exhaust showing here on the back, two pipes. Very nice. Now these come with rubber tires. So these are slicks, no treads on these. And we have the star five spoke in all blacked out. And here's the back again. We see the uh, little spot for the license plate. No numbers or letters. We have the L the uh, Hellcat. Hellcat design right there. Charger and the Dodge name. And we do have some really nice uh, temple work for the lights, which looks pretty cool. And on the top here as well, we do have some more graphics on the whole top of the car. I don't know what that red thing is. Something, something is inside the car there in red little piece of paint or something from the factory didn't even notice that till now and these chargers come with the lights here on the fenders i've seen these on the road very cool to spin the wheels on this one <laughs> so let's get it up a little closer there you see the back end very nice beautiful colors and then we have a lot of trim here showing on the side which looks like it's tampered in with those uh those dots, little dots uh, style thing that they're using now. Four door car, again, the four handles painted over in green. We do see the grill showing through. A couple of uh, headlights, pretty nice. We do have these uh, holes here for the vent and you see the little, little honeycomb vents showing through there. Nice dashboard, we have some vents in there and I'm gonna have to stick some tweezers in there and pull that piece out of there. It is a left side driver and you see the console inside. Really nice bucket seats with a tall headrest there. Beautiful car, it does have some dust here and there. The access to the gasoline is on the left back fender. I love the charger. This is not my favorite co uh, color for the charger. I think it looks really nice in the red. And uh, the blue looks really nice as well. Very cool. And we have this Ford Bronco R. The Ford Bronco R. I wonder if that means rally, because it kind of looks like a rally vehicle. Here are the graphics on the card for the Bronco. Hot Wheels Premium, car culture, number 20 on the Bronco. See the Bronco name right there down the, the middle of the grill. Big tires on this one. Let's see how he looks. Let me get him out of the package. Looks like he has some protective uh, plastic piece in there where he was sitting in there. Kind of like uh, protecting protecting him a little bit or keeping him snug. 
and there it is big rugged tires these are also rubber this one is copyrighted 2020 as, as well and it is a ford bronco r made in thailand with a p45 stamped here white wheels on this one with a chrome stripe and we see the ford performance uh, logo there on the side borla bf goodrich and the bronco name with the number 20 kind of like uh, representing the 20 2020 year for the ford bronco and there's the way they uh show the um kind of like show the same style here but it looks different a little different over here the lights are in black instead of the white or the lit up look kind of look like they're just blacked out but yeah, it has the Bronco name right there on the front end, just like you see on the card. Looks pretty good. That's all plastic, though. No, no die cast. And all plastic on the base. I mean, I'm sorry. All metal on the base. All die cast metal on the base, which is really good. Nice weight to this one with all that metal. And then you see here's the top view. Spare tire in the back. Big number 20 there on the hood. And then this does look like a rally car. You see all the, the bars in there, the rollover bars. No windows on the sides. We do have, oh, no, no window on the front either. You see that it's uh, all open there. We do have all this going on here in plastic. Just looks like the uh, spare tire, maybe some other stuff going on. They're kind of covering up that they have a support beam in there. Tires roll really nice. I don't know if he, it's going to be fast. Ooh, it moves pretty fast for rubber tires. Wow, these are rubber for sure. And it moves really quickly there. Nice bucket seats in black. That rollover cage is all white. And the dashboard, the console, and the steering wheel all in white plastic. And then this white part here is all die cast. You can see it's just painted in. It's all part of the, uh, the body. Oh, looks looks like we have a big brake light. All the way on top a couple of brake lights on the sides and some reverse lights in white the bronco r california bronco r that's abbreviation for bronco right there brnc and the letter r for probably rally i would say but might not be rally i don't know pretty nice bronco i really like it looks good baby blue color no, this is more like a green, I think, like a seafoam green. Very light green. Very, very cool. And it doesn't show uh, any exhaust down here. No details for the exhaust on the sides. A little something there molded in the die cast. I don't know what that is on both sides. But very cool. It has the license plate back there. Very, very nice. So side by side, this is what they look like. The Bronco and the Charger. Charger Hellcat. And the Bronco R. There we go. Front view from both. Little comparison. The height. None of them have the scale written on the base. So it's hard to tell what exact scale they are. Should be 164, that's what we prefer. There we go. Pretty nice looking uh, cars. That thing is annoying me, that little red thing. Oh, by the way, this has a little antenna up here. Thought it was a, some damage, but it's an antenna. It does have that little wing painted over with that black area. Let's go ahead and open up the Chevelle. 69 Chevelle Super Sport 396. Looking good. And here's the card. Wow, what a beauty. Car Culture Series. American Scene. And let's see how he compares to this uh, picture here. Well, this one also comes wrapped around with some extra plastic inside. Let's get him out of there. So fun to unbox some new Hot Wheels. Wow, this is a really nice uh, glossy orange. I hope it shows up on camera because sometimes the light might change. 
the way these cars look on camera, but it's a really nice glossy orange, really nice and bright, and it does have the black stripes on the hood and the trunk. Two-door car with the uh, handles and the keyhole painted over in silver. And it looks more like that tample, that kind of like dot tample type print that they do with that tempo machine. Wow, the grill, the uh, bumper, all metal, all die cast metal. No plastic this time, all die cast, die cast uh, body and die cast base. Looks really nice. We do have treads on the tires on this one. Unlike the Charger, which had the slick tires. It looks like these in the back are taller with bigger wheels and a smaller wheel in the front. And the width is almost the same, I think. Made in Thailand, P45, the Hot Wheels logo sculpted right there in the uh, die cast. And you can see the exhaust on each side heading towards the back and then one pipe this way, one pipe this way. 69 Chevelle SS 396, copyrighted 2007 Mattel. So it's a beautiful 69. And we do see that the trim work around the window and around the, the, the uh, the uh, wheel wells there are kind of like that tampled silver where it's kind of like little dots. It's not like a solid silver line. Same thing all around the windshield. It has those little dots and the vents here. There's the hood. Beautiful black stripes with that silver uh, tampo work all around there. Around the windows, over the door handles, those wheel wells. How's the back? Oh, nice uh, metal bumper on the back. Little spot for the license plate. They forgot to give us some numbers or letters or something on there. <laughs> and we do have the, uh, all the tampon work is done in the dot form. Chevelle name there on the side, a little keyhole for the trunk. Beautiful. We have that black grill. Looks really nice. And that metal body with that metal base just giving it a nice weight. And you see the windows on the side are all open. You can see really well in there. Tall uh, black bucket seats, left side driver like we drive in America all the way over here. No mirrors on the side for this one, even though they do show them on the picture on the card. And there you see the steering wheel, console in the middle, little gear shifter, tall bucket seats with the headrest. You can see them clearly there. It's a beautiful car, really nice color, and I love all the uh, the metal on it. And let's see if you can tell what color that is if I cover up the lights. Really nice. Let's compare them to the uh, card right here. You can see they did a pretty good job. We do have a lot happening there that looks just like the card, but we are missing the uh, little mirrors on the side and the windshield wipers as they show here windshield wipers, little mirrors, and we're missing that Super Sport badge right there in the middle. I don't see it there. Yeah, I don't see the badge there. Chevelle name is there on the side? No, it's not. Only on the back. Not there on the front like that. Only on this side right here, on the back. But still, beautiful. They did a great job. I think it looks really nice. The wheels are amazing looking in the chrome with the little black center. It looks beautiful. Really nice combo with these uh, tires and rims. It looks really good. The stripes are great. Nice little scoop on the hood. Two little scoops, one on this side, one on this side. Very nice. Beautiful Chevelle. Looks really good. Let's see how he looks next to the Charger. I wonder if the scale is accurate to the or the same. I hate when they don't match the scales and they change them up, but that happens with all manufacturers, I think. Unless they announce that they're a true 164 like Auto World does. The Auto World brand of cars. But I love when they have the same scale so you can picture them as they are in real life side by side. Alright, here they are and here's the Bronco. Let's put the orange one in the middle there. There's the little Bronco. Beautiful cars. Really nice uh, premium set. So far we have three. There's six in the set. If you include the Chase. They only show five on the back of the card. So I don't know if the Chase 
it's considered to be like really part of the set but the tesla roadster hot wheels premium car culture markings just as the other ones they all have the same setup on the card and then they have the picture here on the side this one doesn't show any side mirrors on the tesla on this uh, picture up here just a little badge and the black hood let's see how he looks when you get him out of there any extra plastic in there nope no support for this one we do have the same american scene shield there this one's five of five in the series as it's marked on the card tesla roadster is on all it says there on the card no mirrors just like they showed it and the black hood just like they showed it with the badge right in front and unfortunately it looks like i have a little something going on there a little damage some scratches hard to get perfect cars anymore <laughs> and we do have some nice lights tampered in there the grill on the bottom is all black looks like it's all metal there feels like metal down here it looks like that grill is part of it part of the metal as well black disc uh, looks like disc uh, wheels there the windows are rolled up it is a left side driver like we drive in america big piece of glass here that goes all the way over towards the back tesla name on the back end here we do have a black uh, grill with the brake lights and there's a little something there i don't know if that's the exhaust those two little things right there don't look like pipes just look like some kind of indication of something going on there tesla roadster stamped on the base we do see we have the slick tires, no treads. Hot Wheels logo right there in the middle, copyright 2021, made in Thailand. And this one is stamped P45. You can see inside right through that glass. You do have a lot of scra uh, scratches on the glass. Some really nice bucket seats in there. Really nice uh, steering wheel, unique shape. Pretty cool. A little harder to see from the side because of the glass being the windows being rolled up and the car itself is like a silver color with the black accents around the, the middle area tesla roadster does have a really nice front end and it looks kind of kind of like a kind of plain very very aerodynamic i guess you can say that. Tesla Roadster. There it is. And the next one is the Corvette. Let's get the Corvette out here. This one looks so good in the red, white, and blue. The C8.R. Hot Wheels Premium Car Culture. American Scene. We have the same markings on the card. And it looks like uh, this one's 105. Yeah, just the five shown here. They don't show the black one at all on the back of the card. Oh, this one has a piece of plastic in there as well. Kind of like protecting the car. Keeping it nice and snug in there. Ooh, nice wheels. This one has, what, 12 or 5? It looks like 10 spokes. 10 spokes on it. It's kind of spokes that look like spider, like spiders. <laughs> Don't know what they call these officially, those uh, wheels. And it looks like the tampo work is all done with that same tampo machine that kind of has the dotted colors. Beautiful C8R. Has the uh, Chevrolet badge right there in the middle, the Corvette badge, Chevy badge, CR, C8.R on the sides. Both sides uh, look about the same with the uh, black and then the red, white, and blue. Same thing on the top, red, white, and blue, the Corvette name. The wing is painted in in blue. Do have this here in the front that looks kind of like an arrow heading towards the middle there. And it looks like I got some damage on the front there. I don't know. doesn't look right and it looks like I got a bunch of dings one there one there one there and then we have nice glass for the headlights which looks really good 
the grill showing through and then we have some painted in grill there or tampoed. This one also has the slick tires. Here's the side view. And the top view once again. Looks like I have a big scratch on the windshield. No, uh, no windshield wipers, but we do have the side view mirrors on this one. And I can't tell inside, it's hard to see from the side and I don't see any rear view mirror or sun visors or anything like that. And check out the wing on the back end. We do have the exhaust showing here, two pipes. Black area right there, looks like a grill and the lights. We see the brake lights, the reverse and the parking lights. Beautiful wing, painted only on the top in blue and the sides are all white. It's a beautiful Corvette. Looks so nice. Wow. Those wheels look amazing. Looks so nice when it rolls. And looks like it moves pretty good. Not as fast as the plastic wheels on the on the cheaper cards. And then the black one, I'm not gonna open because uh I don't like opening the chase cards until I find another one. So I'm gonna wait till I find another one before I open this one. Just in case I don't find another one. Uh, these uh, chase cars can be crazy. You never know when you might get one that might become like super valuable. Not that I care about that, but uh, you know, you gotta care so, so a little <laughs> when, you, when they tell you it's a, a chase. It could be pretty hard to find. <clears throat> Either way, I hope to find another one so I can open one. And there we have them. Pretty nice set. A lot of fun to finally uh, start finding new cars lately. It had been like nine days since I found Matchbox cars and I finally picked up some this week and uh, finally picked up some more Hot Wheels. I was lucky to find a C case early on. We keep getting C case and then Q case and B case and then C case again, but still no signs of D case. So a lot of the uh, merchandise is running pretty late and now I keep hearing there's a lot of issues with the uh, with the uh, shipping and the trucks and all that so not good news as of lately we might have more delays in product so it's gonna be tough for us collectors which are always hoping to get everything in the order they announce and uh, we don't know we don't know if we're gonna get new product within the next couple of weeks or what it's hard to tell <clears throat> but there they are guys really beautiful set i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget i forgot to mention subscribe to the channel down there subscribe to the channel always have new uh, diecast car videos for you showing diecast cars all the time and i enjoy reading your comments guys so leave me a comment let me know where you're watching from what country what city what state let me know which one's your favorite here do you like the chevelle the corvette the bronco r the Tesla Roadster or the Charger Hellcat. Which one's your favorite? That could be a comment you can leave for me. And if you want to give me an extra gift, go ahead and just hit that like button and that'll help so much. That's a really nice gift that you can leave as you head out. Just hit that thumbs up down there and that'll propel this video and make it more shareable to other people who might like it. Thank you guys for that. I appreciate it so much. And thanks for subscribing. Thanks everyone for all the subs. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next video.